Good morning, my dear students. I am very glad to welcome you all to 9th standard. This is Jay Lima. I am going to take chemistry for you. Today is our first class. So, I want to give the introduction to chemistry. Okay, students. First, what is chemistry? Chemistry is the study of matter. Chemistry is the study of matter. So, next you have to know what is matter. Anything that has mass and occupies space is called matter. Anything that has mass and occupies space that is volume is called matter. So, everything we see around us is called matter. For example, pen, pencil, paper, books, clock, board, desk, chair, every household items. These are some examples of matter because these things having particular mass and occupy space that is volume. So, these things are called matter. Students, now you know about matter and the examples of matter. So, now what is non-matter? A thing. Do not have mass and do not occupy space is called non-matter. What is non-matter? A thing do not have mass and do not occupy space that is volume is called non-matter. For example, heat, light, sound. These are the examples of non-matter. Why these are called as non-matter? Because these things do not have mass and do not occupy space. So, these are called as non-matter. Sunlight. This is also the another example for non-matter. Because sunlight also not have mass and not occupy space. Rainbow. This is another example for non-matter. Because the same rain, rainbow also not have mass and not occupy space. So, it is called as non-matter. Next, what is the difference between matter and non-matter? Now you know, matter means anything that has mass and occupies space is called matter. And non-matter means a thing do not have mass and do not occupy space is called non-matter. Today, I want to give one activity for you. Classify the following as matter and non-matter. Here I given 10 examples for you. Identify which one is matter and which one is non-matter. And this activity is very helpful for you. Because in chemistry, your first lesson is matter around us. Thank you dear students. I hope all of you will finish this activity. Students, please stay home and stay safe. Next class, I will give the answer for this activity. Thank you.